Hey there, this is Kevin from MaximizingEcommerce.com. Um, I get this question quite a bit of what type of results can you expect if you're selling on Amazon in Canada? And I figured I'd go ahead and just show you some screenshots. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you real life comparison, showing you screenshots of real numbers um, that I've seen from uh, last year, 2017. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show those to you now. So on Amazon.com um, for the full year of 2017, you can see here um, did about $178,000 in sales. And that was uh, equating to about 10,000 um, units that were ordered, which was roughly 9,300 um, orders. And in in the US I mean that's you know that's a decent number so just keep that as kind of the the basis because generally speaking most people in Canada that I know of who sell in Canada talk about generally 10 to 15 percent so just keep that as a benchmark in, in number in your head um, now in Canada just Keep in mind these numbers here are kind of apples and oranges because uh, the dollars here aren't U.S. dollars. You can see the C-A-N there um, by the sales there in the middle. Um, that's actually talking about Canadian dollars. So Canadian dollars are different than U.S. dollars because Amazon or Amazon, excuse me, Canada has its own currency. Um, so this is what it looks like for the full year. Um, and, and we'll go ahead and come back to that with uh, more of a apples to apples approach so using a conversion of US dollars to Canadian dollars it varies um, I took this screenshot uh, maybe a couple weeks ago I think I looked it up today and it was like one Canadian dollar equals 0.78 US so it's it's basically the same ballpark um, you know it's a little bit of a difference but uh, the numbers I've crunched here are based on this uh, one Canadian dollar equals 0.8 US dollar which uh, flip flop the other way. One U.S. dollar is going to relate to about 1.25 Canadian, but don't get too caught up in the math there. We'll we'll walk through the math here just to um, show what it's like. So, and I wrote there varies because it can vary because um, currencies fluctuate. In fact, you can see the graph there from uh, the screenshot there from Google how the you know it, it's gone up and down. Not huge, drastic swings, but I mean it has gone up and down here and there so to give you more of an apples to apples comparison um, if you took that 33,000 Canadian multiplied it times 0.8 uh, you're gonna get this number here um, so it was about 27,000 US approximately now granted you know throughout the year somebody might say well you know the currency is always fluctuating we're just picking this one particular number just for comparison so if I took my sales of approximately 27,000 divided by sales of about 178,000 in the US so Canada sales divided by US sales that means of the sales I made in the US I got basically an additional 15 percent in Canada that's not bad when you really think about it because um, I'll go into a little bit more depth of why I think it's important to sell in Canada, especially once you've gotten up and running. Um, but it, it's definitely decent to have an extra 15%. Uh, as far as units sold, um, as you saw on the slides before, it's about 1,300 units sold in the U.S. Um, or sorry, in Canada versus about 10,000 units in Canada, uh, which is about a little over 1,000, almost 1,100 orders in Canada and almost 9,400 orders in the U.S., so it's about 11.6%. So of my sales, you can see there, um, they're more heavily focused on sales because, or on dollars. Um, so the reason for that is, uh, just to make this a little simpler um, before I start going in a tangent, which I know sometimes I can do. So um, $20 per unit, $20.58 per unit versus about $17 per unit in the U.S. Now, some of it is the mix is a little different of which products I sell in Canada. It's not that far off, but um, some of my more expensive items sell. So that's why I'm selling about 20% higher per unit sold. So that's what skews things towards 15%. When you look at the actual number of orders, I'm only at about 11.5%. 
um, of the orders in the U.S. I make in Canada, and so that's why sales are up 15 or about 15 percent of my U.S. sales is what I make in Canada uh, because people, as I understand in Canada, and, and this is something I, I had a friend of mine explain to me when I was looking to go into Canada and was trying to figure out pricing. You know, one of the things I was worried about was that the there was additional costs to ship, you know, from the U.S. to Canada because I would import products in from China to the U.S., then ship to Canada, which is not cheap. Um, you do have some fees when you go across the border and things of that nature. And so I was I was just concerned, you know, with also the fact that even adjusting for the conversion, it was more expensive for Amazon to fulfill the order. But what I've learned is I'm actually able to hold steady the same profit margins because people are willing to pay more. And that's what my friend who had lived in Canada explained to me that just everything's more expensive in Canada for whatever reason. Um, and so people are just used to paying higher prices. So when, when you really think about it, sales come down to what is it you're willing to sell something for versus what is someone willing to buy for it? So if you're selling a widget and they have dollars, whether U.S. or Canadian dollars, how much do they want your product versus how much do they want to give up their dollars? And so if they want your product more than they want to keep their dollars, then they're willing to make that change. And so or that exchange, I should say. So, you know, that exchange for, you know, money for, you know, the goods. So in Canada, people are actually willing to pay more. And, you know, that reflects there in this number. So uh, that's another nice thing I think about selling in Canada is that, you know, even though there are some more expenses on the front end as far as, you know, getting things to Canada and, uh, you know, uh, that nature. But the nice part is I think it is definitely worth selling in Canada. I mean, think about it this way. If I'm selling in the U.S., and I've made $178,000 US, why would I not want another $27,000 US, you know, roughly 15% in sales? Of course I want that. Um, and, and keep in mind, I'm not adding new products just for Canada. I'm basically taking can uh, products I have in the US and I'm just putting them in Canada. I'm just taking some of my minimum order quantities that I'm ordering and I'm putting them in Canada. I'm taking the same um, listing information. So, you know, the same copy, the same photos. Uh, I already know what keywords are selling. So PPC campaigns are going to run pretty much similarly because, you know, people are using the same words because culturally Canada is not all that different from the U S you know, they speak, for the most part, the same language. You know, there's French, um, you know, Canadian uh, folks in Quebec. But then again, the people that are, at least from my experiences, a lot of the French speakers aren't necessarily going on Amazon.ca because it's a English website. Um, but I would say it's definitely worth exploring selling in Canada because the other nice thing for me about not just an additional 15% in revenue, um, it's helped me learn the process of going into other countries. And so it's made me more confident to start going into somewhere like the UK, where it's not just to the US's northern border, where it's kind of simple. It's like, oh, just ship it up north. Um, you know, I have product going on the other other side of the world, basically, from where I live uh, in the US. So it, it has me feeling a little bit more confident, like, oh, I can sell in another country. Um, and then, you know, once I got up and running in the UK, then I ended up going and translating my listings into the other uh, marketplaces in Europe and starting to get some momentum going. So that's, that's been pretty awesome. Um, so I would say definitely if you're selling in the US and you have an established product or, you know, a couple of them, I would say, why not go into Canada? Dip your feet in the in the icy cold tundra. <laughs> it's really not all that bad. It's 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 when I say icy cold, um, it's actually an additional group of people that are willing to buy your product. And if you sell it in Canada, keep in mind that's new people that you have access to. So about ten percent of the U.S 
So it's about 330-ish million people, I believe, live in the U.S., and it's like 33 million people live in Canada, somewhere along there. So it, it falls in line with that logic of sales tend to be 10 to 15%. So it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth uh, selling in Canada. And if you're interested in learning how to sell in Canada, if you look down below, um, I've got a link that will have... Um, uh, basically, you can go to our website and sign up and get a free checklist where I'll walk you through step by step uh, what it is that you got to do to sell in Canada. And it's you'll, you'll find it's not all that hard. And it's just a matter of putting your stuff out there in Canada and getting an extra 10 to 15 percent. I mean, there's no guarantees of exactly what those numbers are going to be. But I mean, generally speaking, that's what people are seeing. So um, I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, I would absolutely love it if you can click the little thumbs up uh, as well as subscribe to this channel. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. And um, no matter where you are on your e-commerce journey, I just want to wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.